This is Catip, and it might solve the biggest issue with AI copywriting. I've tried so many AI copywriting tools that I've simply lost count, but the issue that I always encounter is that the AI simply writes wrong content from a factual standpoint, and this is the reason why we can't just generate and press publish. So let's dive into it. AI copywriting has been around for more than two years now. It started with GPT, and I know it started before that, but GPT was what really launched the AI because GPT opened up as an API, so every tool out there could use it. And we saw tools like Copy AI and Jasper basically surface as these tools where we could go in and we could generate content. And this was the first step in the direction of being able to generate a full article. Later on, we saw ChatGPT come, basically just exploding the entire AI copywriting tool section and turning everything upside down in the way that we generate content because now it's more of a personalized conversation you're having with a bot that is basically working for you in a way that it will do everything you tell it to do in a text form. But here, even two years after we've seen GPT and ChatGPT, we still have two main issues. First, the content can never be personalized. It will never be able to know what I have experienced and then based on my experience, write that. And the second issue is factual content because it writes content, but it doesn't know whether it's correct or not. So what CADEP is doing is that they're actually fact checking against websites they know are correct on a subject. And this is something that is really interesting for the AI because that is a big issue. We can, for instance, ask the AI to write something about iPhone 17. And even though it's not been released yet, the AI will still sound confident in a way that it will tell you that the iPhone has been released and it has these specs. But the way that you work with Catip is like we've seen all other tools generating content. You enter your search query or your search phrase, and then you simply press generate. And now what Catip will do is that they will generate content from websites where they know that this is a trusted source and they will even tell you what websites they used. And this is a little bit back to another issue that AI has. AI is not creating new content, it is simply summarizing content in a way that's unique. So with AI, you will never be able to add new content to the web. You will only be able to summarize content. The only way right now you can create new content for the web is if you manually sit down and write it yourself. But I think it's really interesting approach that they're telling us the sources they have taken all the content from. And I try to take this piece of article and then run it through Grammarly's plagiarism checker to make sure that this was not copy and pasted content and only 6% was hit by the plagiarism checker and those 6% was super generic sentences. So overall, I think it's a great way to generate an article, but let's dive more into the output. Overall, then the output was of a decent quality. Again, it is not new content, it is summarized content, so it's limited how well it can be. And another thing is that when we sit and write content for our websites, it's very important we keep it in our voice the way that we write, because if your website writes in 10 different voices, then Google will notice this and Google will know that all of this content is not written by the same person. So that is definitely one issue. But what I really like is that we can choose whether we want the content to be in first person, second person or third person. That is definitely something new that I haven't seen in many AI copywriting tools. Another thing you can do is that you can generate images with your content. This means that the AI algorithm would simply suggest you images based on your content, but just be aware because the images are taken directly from Google, so the chances that you are allowed to use these images are very low. If you want images that you can use, then you can use the AI image generator, which I'll get back to in a moment. Another way to generate an entire article is to use the credible writer. And what's interesting here is that you are actually giving the source of the content. So you write the website that you trust where the information is correct. So based on this website and of course GPT, CADEP will now generate an entire article. 
But one thing I see here is that we can only enter one URL and it's very rare that it's only one URL that has all the information we need for our article. For instance, if you want to write an article manually, you would go in and you would look at maybe top 20 on Google on that specific search phrase, and then you will get inspired by those articles. You would never just choose one article and then write based on that, because how would you be able to beat that article then? You need inputs from multiple sources. So if they could add a way that we could add multiple URLs and get information from those URLs, that would really be beneficial. Now for the AI image generator, I tested this in multiple ways and it does deliver great results that you can actually use. Of course, sometimes you need to do some small touch-ups on the images where, for instance, I was generating images for a freelancer that was working on a computer in his living room and he was delivering great results. I had to go in and make small tweaks to the images because sometimes the throat of the person sitting there would just have a completely different pattern than the other people and it just looked off a little bit. But overall, then the quality of these images generated are great because recently I tested Pixelite, which is my recent review, and they also have an AI image generator, but their results were just completely off. I got maybe two or three images every time and they were often misspelled and the images were just completely wrong based on what I wrote. So to see this type of quality within CADAP is really great and I hope that they will continue to improve this because if we can just generate an image and we don't have to do those small touch-ups, it will just save us a lot of time when we generate this entire article. But here's the thing, because the AI image generator and the article generator, they're not working together. So you can't right now just go in, write an article and then tell CADAP that you want images generated for this article. And I think that you definitely do that instead of suggesting images from Google, maybe even do both because of course the suggested images from Google is a great way to get inspired for what type of images you can use in your article. But if they could just generate them for us and we could just simply copy and paste those images with all of the content from the article, that would really be a game changer because then we have a full article that we can just copy and paste and then put it into our WordPress website or whatever website you're using and publish it because we know it's fact checked. So working in this direction, I think would be a great way of getting a full blown tool where we can just generate great articles. Now I wanted to test this fact checker even further. I have a product called planter.io and it's not a very known product. So I wanted to see whether it could get all the facts straight. So I went in and then I asked it to write a section of text for planter.io and suggest an image. And it did get all of the facts straight. So I think that's super impressive. It even suggested the, an image that I have made myself for the website. So overall, that fact checking is working great, but you can still push it out and basically make it right nonsense where it just simply doesn't have any credible sources to check and then you will just get nonsense text. So it is still possible to push it out there and make it act like all the other AI copywriting tools we see out there where we simply just get wrong content from a factual standpoint. But overall, based on my testing, then I did get decent results, even though we are still just summarizing the web. But what really surprised me was the price because you can get unlimited words for only $25 and this is super cheap. If we compare just to copy.ai, you have to pay $11 more and jasper.ai, which I would say is the leader within AI copywriting tools, you have to pay a lot more. So I think the price is great because they have the fact checker module, which is a unique module that they have developed. And for all of this, all of this functionality with the AI image generator, the content generation, the fact checker, and even more, you get all of this for only $25. So I think you get a lot of value here for the price that you pay. Other than of course, focusing on improving the AI fact checker, then they are also working on a mobile app so we can use CADAP on our phone. They're working on a browser extension, which I will see very valuable because we can use the browser extension everywhere on the web and then generate content wherever we are. And lastly, an interesting thing is that they're adding custom options so we can build our own templates using CADAP and using all of this fact checking module. So I think that's great. And I think it's great with new modules that they are focusing on 
but of course I still hope that they will work on improving the content generated and of course as mentioned the AI fact checker. Now as mentioned CADAP does create decent quality output and I think definitely it's above average. So if you're a content creator, you write blog posts, then I think you should take a look at CADAP because you get the fact checking module and just decent output. So overall I want to give CADAP 4 stars. I think they're super innovative in the way that they have developed a fact checking module, but I would like to see a more common thread through all of the modules so we can generate images with our blog post that we can actually use. And then the ability to add more credible sources when we create an article will just make it even better. Now if you want to be able to create content directly in WordPress, then I have recently reviewed Get Genie, which you can watch right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.